Hey friends, welcome back to the channel. I'm Phil Letterer. <clears throat> and today I want to talk a little bit about how to improve your musicianship. So what do I mean by improve your musicianship and why am I talking about this? Because look, I didn't go to Juilliard. I didn't go to Berkeley. I'm not a professional musician. I don't make money off my music. But I do think I have some ideas. I think I am a good enough musician that I might be able to have some ideas that could help you improve your musicianship. You could be a violinist, a guitarist, a pianist, a singer, a drummer, a trumpeter. I think I have some ideas that kind of cross across the musical domains. Okay, how to improve your musicianship according to Dr. Phil Lederer. Okay. <laughs> my main instrument. I started when I was three with Suzuki, which you all might be familiar with that. I mean, um, Twinkle, Twinkle Little Star. And I went through all the Suzuki books. Um, although I wouldn't say I was a particularly studious violin student, um, but I got through most of them in the Bach double. Etc. Um, what else is there? So I did all the classical stuff. I went through orchestra in high school in Kentucky, um, city orchestra, Central Kentucky Youth Orchestra, all state orchestra, those kind of things. And I went up to college and I did a semester of college orchestra. It was in the back of the second violins. I wasn't loving it. It was just kind of, there wasn't much room for growth or improvisation. So I kind of said, all right, I'm out of here. And I quit the orchestra. This was in probably December of 1999. And I was looking around for other musical things to do. There was like an Irish band, there was an old time fiddle band, and there was a Javanese gamelan. And I was interested in Indian music. And um, you know, I had messed around a teeny bit with a guitar here and there, a trumpet here and there. And it's like, well, I could do anything. I could do the jazz band, like whatever they want. I ended up falling into old time fiddle, fiddle, banjo, guitar. It's kind of like bluegrass. Did a lot of that. And then, in, you know, I went to medical school, did all the medical training, and really didn't spend too much time on music, because when you're a doctor, you don't have much time. And But now that I'm retired from being a doctor, I have a lot of time to put back into musicianship, my own musicianship, and maybe even your musicianship. So, all right, here are my five essential points to improving your musicianship. First, listen actively and sing. Okay, so... Say, um, I'm just going to adjust my setup here a tiny bit so I have a little more space. Okay, so, um, I'm kind of assuming you have a little bit of familiarity with basic music theory or play a little bit of a guitar or sing a little bit in the shower or something. Um, I'm not going to start from the total beginning, but listen actively and sing. So let's just think of a song. Okay. Um, I'm just having this song in my head from last night because I was playing with a couple friends. Um, Soldier's Joy is a pretty classic fiddle tune. So I'm just going to play it. And always be in tune for your instrument. Have rosin on your bow. I don't have rosin on my bow right now, so my sound is not great, but it's okay.
hear that melody on the fiddle, you're listening actively to it. Maybe you could even sing along. Slow it down. It's very D, D major, very D, D major. So if you can sing that melody uh, more or less, you know, slow it down even more. If you can sing a little bit, you're already, you're, you know, your brain is firing. You're on, you're already learning the melody. Um, you're actively engaged with the song. Okay, that's one thing. Make music daily. This is so important. You know, when I was a doctor, I just was all over the place, you know, in the clinic, in the hospital, doing all this stuff. And it's really hard to find the time to really make some music every day. I don't say you have to make music for three hours every day, even if you make music for three minutes a day, but you really put your heart and soul into those three minutes, that's good. Because maybe you'll be listening on your headphones for an hour when you're out running or when you're driving or something like that. So you're getting active listening and singing other points of the day, but you're actively using your instrument three minutes a day. I think a notebook is a good thing. I've talked about having a notebook. Berkeley College of Music, where you write down you know, some of your time, what you did. But don't be too crazy and intense. Relax and have fun. See that up there? Relax. Have. It's really hard to do backwards. Relax and have fun. So... This is music, this is dance, this is art. This is not life or death. We're not talking about a patient who needs a heart surgery, you know? I mean, it is important to do your best in the music and have fun, but relax, because you're gonna make a better sound and your music is gonna be more danceable and more engaging with people if you're relaxed. So that means posture, that means yoga, that means meditation, that means being relaxed. Like, where am I tight? You know, so. So relax, you know, you don't want to get injured. Just like running a marathon, you don't want to get injured. You want, it's better to be slower and not get injured than to get injured. And this video is not sponsored by Tufts Medicine. I just happen to have this uh, coffee mug here, but um, I'm not against Tufts Medicine, but just FYI. Okay, so we're all relaxed. You got your guitar there, your banjo, your fiddle, your your piano, your whatever, your saxophone. You, I have my violin because this is the instrument I'm best at. All right, let's go to the basics. Remember the basics. It says right there, melody. Okay, chords, rhythm and groove. These are basics. These are like, it's a melody, you know. Let's do some different song. Let's let's leave Soldier's Joy aside and go to um, it's baseball season and we're in Boston, so we'll stay in D major and we'll just mess around with Take Me Out to the Ball Game. the melody let's say you can sing it so you know the words take me out to the ball game take me out to the crowd 
buy me some blah, 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 blah. Okay, so you can do that. <clears throat> Let's slow it down a little bit because you should always slow things down. Um, and think about the chords, you know, arpeggios, scales. Like imagine, and you're not playing a violin, imagine you're playing a guitar or a piano. So. it can be inverted there's a lot of stuff there but um okay i'm just gonna play it slowly take me out to the ball game take me out to the crowd these are kind of power chords um I, which i believe means you don't have the third of the chord but so take me out d major to the to the A major take me out to the crowd and see that on there it says be brave that means don't be afraid to embarrass yourself on YouTube in front of anyone your whole world the whole world could, you might be embarrassed. I could be embarrassed if I sing poorly, you know, but I'm not gonna be, cause I'm not. So I'm gonna be brave here and just sing out like I'm Pavarotti in the opera or something. You know, right now my YouTube channel has, what, like about 140 followers and almost never get any comments, it's pretty small, but you know, anybody could watch it and they could be like, oh my God, Phil's a bad singer or, oh my God, he's a bad violinist or they could be, he's a great, what, doesn't matter. I'm just gonna be brave and just gonna be out there. So melody, the chords. Take me out to the ball game. Take me out to the crowd. Buy me some peanuts and crack, cracker jack. I don't care if I ever get back for it's root, root for the Red Sox. If they, or wait, the Dodgers, or the Red Sox, or the Tigers, or whoever. If they don't win, it's a shame. For it's one, two, three strikes your heart at the old ball game. So I was starting to hit a little bit of the notes of the bass for that. So, you know, there's chords and there's a root of a chord that's uh, played by the bass a lot of the times. So. D major. Do, re, mi, fa, sol, ti, do. There's chords, you know, a violin is not a um, instrument for chords. That's a piano or a guitar, but we can make some chords. Outline, you know, the root, the third, the fifth, the seventh of a chord maybe. Okay, but what about the rhythm and groove? You want it to be danceable. Okay. So just clap on two and four. Dum, da, 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 dum, dum. But I'm a bad, I consider myself a bad dancer. I love to dance, but I'm not. I'm much of a dancer, but music is about dancing. You know, old time fiddle is about square dance, contra dance, you know, R&B, go to the party, rave, yeah, 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 blah, blah, blah. So <clears throat> it's got to have rhythm and groove. And if your rhythm's off, uh, people are not going to dance so well. So let's just go back to... Bum, bup, bup, bup. 
So I'm kind of using my bow like a little bit like a drum. And that's something I want to talk to you about now. So rhythm, right? Take, take, start clapping. Take me out to the ball game. Take me out to the crowd. Buy me some peanuts and cracker jack. You got to move your shoulders a little bit. Da -da -dum. Ba -ba 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 -dum. Ba da 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 ba da one two three six you're out at the smile ball get da 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 okay so music is fun dance is fun it's a very human thing to do so got to be clapping got to be moving drumming conducting whatever it is to you know loosen up and relax and have fun okay so these are a few ideas that I had for how to improve your musicianship you know this is a fifteen minute sixteen minute video. I'm not teaching you everything I know. I don't know everything. I only know some basic violin stuff, basically, and fiddle stuff. But, um, yeah. I would say YouTube, YouTube doesn't pay me anything, but YouTube is amazing. Um, there are so many really amazing videos of amazing artists from all over the world so you could just go to youtube and say take me out to the ball game and then you'll get like a thousand of videos of different people's interpretations and you know the wellerman song like for a popular you know sea shanty like there's a million songs and there's a million interpretations and you want to kind of find what syncs with you Okay, so that's it for today. I'll leave it there. How to improve your musicianship. Um, that's going to be my video today. It is day number 105, I think, of Fiddle. Um, The challenge in music is um, that I've had is to practice and it's almost an emotional challenge to feel like you're good practicing alone because you only get your friends to do the quartets or the orchestra or the you know the band once in a while you don't usually have them like every day so you want to like be in this sort of mental zone where you can listen to something think about the chords Imagine you have a banjo, a fiddle, or a bass, a guitar, you know, a whole band with you. Mentally, sort of like, imagine how you could bring the audience to life, how you can bring the dancers to life. Um. You know, you want to outline all the chords as much as you can, but yeah, there's a lot to say, but main things here, yeah, listen actively, listen a lot, get YouTube. I pay for YouTube Premium. I think it's worth it to get rid of the ads. Maybe it's not. But listen actively. Listen to Miles Davis. Listen to John Coltrane. Listen to Jimi Hendrix. Listen to Nahari Soul. Listen to like the top people. Sing along, you know. Sweet Caroline. Ba ba bum. Good times never. I'm in a baseball mood. The Red Sox, they sing that in the seventh or eighth inning. Do this every day. Get into the, I mean, even if you're a busy, 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 busy person with a corporate finance job or a doctor, neurosurgeon job, like maybe you can have the music on in the operating room while you're taking out the brain tumor. And it'll help you relax and have fun and probably make you a better surgeon. And remember that all these songs you're hearing, and you can write your own songs. And I've written a few, not, you know, they're not going platinum yet, but um, they have these basic components of melody and harmony, rhythm, were lyrics da 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 like it's like poetry you know um but the main thing is to be brave like don't be afraid of embarrassing yourself on youtube or say you don't have a youtube channel just like be brave so i'm gonna play the song one more time and i'm gonna try to like i did some weightlifting this morning so my arm is a little sore but um just gonna play it one more time and see where it goes and then i'll leave you and i'll see you tomorrow and thank you so much for, for joining my channel for watching my videos, for clicking like and subscribe and leaving a comment down below if you do. Uh, apparently that's what's important for growing these channels is if you subscribe and you're engaged and you have ideas for what kind of video would you want me to make tomorrow regarding musicianship? Should I delve more into melody of a, a fiddle tune or more technical things about 
scales. I don't know what, what's helpful for you. Um, or do you want me to talk about medicine? I can talk about HIV and tuberculosis and malaria and Ebola and everything for hours. Like that would be really boring. Maybe for some of you, but others would like to hear about medicine because I do have a background as a doctor. Um, anyway, or you want to hear about marathon running because I'm training for an ultra marathon. I don't know. I don't know what you want. So I need to hear from you friends down in the comments below. Like what would be interesting for you because you don't have much time and my videos are obviously homegrown um, and not like edited or anything like that. So you want to hear stuff that is going to be useful to you. Okay, so, all right. But once you get off this video, grab your guitar, hit your piano, and just sing something or put on a song on iTunes or whatever and just like sing along and enjoy it, okay? friends happy sunday appreciate you very much for following along in my videos and i will see you tomorrow on the channel be well